Hello everyone, another Loco Skates vlog for you. Today we're going to be looking at the new Nick Lomax USD Aeon Pro Skates. Um, what I thought I'd do is take you through the skate from bottom to top. Um, I've got the skate here and I've got them dismantled here to look at some bits in more detail. Uh, I had an opportunity to skate on them, so I'm going to tell you what I like and what I thought about them too. Um, so, moving straight into it, on the bottom we have uh, USD Aon 61mm wheels and inside Wicked ABEC 5 bearings. Um, for a stock wheel, I didn't really have any troubles with these. I thought um, they weren't too hard, weren't too soft. Um, one of the main advantages of the Aon, which I'll go into a bit more detail later, is that the wheels um, go into this groove which is built into the skate. So even though it's a 61 millimeter wheel, because it's set deeper into the skate, it kind of feels more like a 57 or 58 millimeter uh, wheel, keeping you low to the ground. Next, we can move on to the frame, and well, we should do the frame and the boots, because it's, as all the other Aeons, um, it's a one-piece shell and frame. Um, what's really good about that is um, the power transfer or the transformation of energy. Um, there's no moving parts between the two. So for just rolling around, these skates feel really, really good, really close to the foot, which is added by the wheels being closer to the, the foot as well. Um, so yeah, that's probably one of the main plus points of these skates. Uh, another really good feature of the frame is it has this kind of slight wheel cupping and a really wide H-block. It's also the way that the H-block works with the backside plate. Um, I was a Solomon skater before these, so I was really concerned about, about this um, relationship, but actually I had no issues with Royales or backslides, and um, I thought they performed really, really well. Um, moving higher up the boots, uh, as with the other Aeons too, they have this mid strap, which works like this. Um, this does provide more compression to the top of the foot, um, which makes it a little bit more comfortable. But um, its function maybe isn't completely optimized. I'd maybe like to see in the future um, them bring the attachments closer to the back of the ankle so it um, pulls, pulls the ankle into the back of the skate. At the moment, it just kind of presses down onto the foot. And I have my skate really, really tight. So what I was finding is that um, whenever I landed a trick, like heavy, because of the way that it's set up with this, um, has this Velcro system, the Velcro is popping off and the, the um, strap came off the skate um, after every trick I landed. So as a kind of a fix for that, comes as standard with the Velcro attachment on the outside of the foot. You can swap it over to the inside of the foot. Uh, I've done that the wrong way round, but um, that actually helps the problem a little bit. But I think if they were to move the attachments further back, it would solve that problem completely. Another really good thing about the frame on these skates is the length. Um, so, the frame on each size shell is relative to the size of the skate. So um, this is the six and a half to seven shell, and the frame looks like this. And the eight to the nine shell, the frame looks exactly the same. So um, you can have like a bigger size skate and not have to have a short frame, which is often a problem with other brands. Another important feature of the skate is the inside, underneath the lining. Um, they come with a shock absorber, if you like shock absorption. But they also come with this plastic footbed. Um, and it's really important to keep this in. Um, stupidly, I took mine out to try and create more space. And I didn't realize that um, on the bottom part of the shell of the boots, they have um, cut out holes for the wheels to sit in. So they can, the advantage of that is you get a bigger wheel and it protrudes into the inside of the skate. Uh, bringing you closer to the floor but the downside of that is if you take this off um, you can burn a hole in the bottom of the liner which is what I did and also I got a blister on the bottom of my foot um, so people have also noticed because of that if they skate if you skate in the rain or through a puddle sometimes the the wheels can splash water up and it can 
uh, seep into the liner. So people were wondering why their liners were getting wet when they skated in the rain. Uh, that's the reason why. So a slight um, disadvantage to skating in the rain, but a massive advantage for bringing your foot closer to the ground. So moving up the skates, um, we can move on to the cuff, um, which I've got here. Um, originally, the Aeons had a really um, stiff cuff which they made improvements on on the second batch. Um, it's actually a power slide VI cuff um, and the second batch they, they made them much softer for more flexibility. And on this one, it doesn't feel as stiff as the originals, but they are a little, are a little stiffer than the ones which came on the Pianowskis. Um, but I had no issues with boning over on any of my grinds. I didn't feel like they were too stiff. And actually, what I thought was really good um, about the cuff and the way that they work with the line and the line is still high and the cuff has this V cut here uh, Which means that boning over on top sides um, top soles in particular um, Was really really comfortable nothing dug in um, and felt really secure and solid still and so included with the skates is the MyFit second skin liner a Nick Lomax version on the carry strap. They've got it um, embroidered Nick Lomax here um, we can look at the liner here. Um, so really decent liner, it's soft, compact and thin. Um, has this Velcro attachment so you can stiffen, the, stiffen up around the ankle a little bit more. Um, really, really decent liner. Um, it's got the neoprene toe for the dual fit so it can help you size down too. Um, the only thing they haven't done with the Nick Lomax version is include the lace eyelets here that like that come on the aftermarket second skin liner. In previous models of Kaon skates, they have a two-tone color on the frame, sole kit, and boot. On the Lomax, you'll notice that it's all one color, which means that none of it is painted like in the older models. So this one won't scratch away. Um, so that's a real big plus, because um, some people that was a concern for before, particularly if you had the white ones. Um, but also this is a sample pair and it says uh, Lomax on the side. Um, in the uh, fully released versions that will be available to you, um, it's uh, one of Nick's friends who unfortunately died recently. It also includes his name next to it, um, Danny, um, which is a really nice touch. So in summary, I really, really like the skate. Um, I particularly like how close to the foot the skate feels. That's the liner helps that, um, particularly around the top here. Um, and also how low to the ground they are. Um, I like the relationship between the backside plates and the H-block, um, and I like the power transfer. Um, so yeah, you can get yours at like a